Welcome to the Activate Your Trade Up and Trade In Products video tutorial. With the WatchGuard Trade Up program, you can easily replace aging WatchGuard devices with new ones to stay ahead of evolving network threats. If you have a security device from a non WatchGuard manufacturer, don't worry, we have an option for you too. The WatchGuard Trade In program helps you affordably adopt WatchGuard network security protection. During this brief video, I will show you how to activate WatchGuard Trade Up and Trade In products, as well as explain what happens to old products after your new device is activated. If you are going to trade up from an earlier generation WatchGuard network security device, the original device must be registered to your account before you can activate the new one. To verify that the device you want to replace is active and registered to the correct account, log into your WatchGuard portal and then click My Products on the Support homepage. If the original device is not registered to your account, you need to contact the WatchGuard customer care team and request a transfer of ownership to register the product to your account. To do this, on the Support homepage, click here to open a new support ticket. Type the serial number of your original device here. Use this drop-down to select the Transfer of Ownership option. And then complete the Subject and Description fields. When requesting a transfer of ownership, make sure you include a picture of the serial number on the device as proof of ownership. Don't worry about having anything fancy. You can use your phone to take a picture, like I did for this photo. Just be aware, if you don't include a photo, the support team can't process your request. Before you start the activation process, make sure you have the serial number of your new device on hand. You'll need it to complete the process. On the support homepage, click Activate a Product, and then type the serial number of the new device. When you type in the serial number, make sure you enter it exactly as you see it, including any hyphens. Here you'll assign a friendly name to the device, so it's easier to identify later when you look at your list of WatchGuard products on the portal. I'll call this device XTM810 Headquarters. If you don't already have the WatchGuard Security subscriptions and would like 30-day free trials, select the UTM services you are interested in trying before you click Next. Here is where the Trade Up and Trade In paths diverge. On this page, you'll choose whether you're trading up from an existing WatchGuard device or trading in a device from another company. To trade up from a WatchGuard device, select this option, and then use this drop-down menu to select the WatchGuard product you want to retire. I only have one other device on this account, so that makes my choice easy. If you have multiple devices on your account, make sure you pick the correct one. This is where the friendly names can really come in handy. Once you identify the device you want to retire, it is removed from your live security account and is no longer eligible for upgrades, support, or updates. Accept the End User License Agreement and click Next to continue. When you arrive here, you can either click the Feature Key hyperlink to retrieve the Feature Key for your new device, or you can just click Finish like I'm doing here, and retrieve your Feature Key when you set up your new device with the Web Setup Wizard. That's it! Your new Trade Up device is activated. Now that you know how to trade up from an existing WatchGuard device, Let's look at how to trade in a device from another company. Just a quick reminder, make sure you have the serial number for your new WatchGuard device. You'll need it during the activation process. This process begins just like the previous one did. Log in to the WatchGuard portal and navigate to the support homepage. Click Activate a Product and type the serial number for the new device. Once again, give the device a friendly name. This time, I'll name the device XTM810 Main. Just like before, choose which UTM services you want to try. Because I'm trading up from a non-WatchGuard device, I'll choose this option. I'll use these drop-down menus to identify my previous device. Let's say, for the sake of this demonstration, that I'm trading in a SonicWall Pro 5060 with this serial number. 
One requirement of the WatchGuard trade-in program is the completion and submission of the Certificate of Destruction form. This is what the Certificate of Destruction form looks like. Just print a copy, fill it out, and send it to WatchGuard within 60 days of activating the new WatchGuard device. Accept the End User License Agreement and click Next to continue. When you arrive here, you can either click the Feature Key hyperlink to retrieve the Feature Key for your new WatchGuard device, or you can click Finish and retrieve your Feature Key later. I'll go ahead and click Finish. That's it! The new XTM810 is activated. Just a quick reminder, the Certificate of Destruction must be completed and sent to WatchGuard within 60 days of activating your new device. For more information about the WatchGuard Trade-Up and Trade-In programs, visit the WatchGuard website.